Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are all over the world. Um, today, we've come with another very, 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 very good episode on how to connect a speak-on cable. You know, so many lot of people, you know, thought that to connect a speak-on cable is a very big deal, you know, you have to spell out the whole thing. All the whole rest of your destined time, you know, constructing the speak on cable. But I think to connect a speak on cable is not really a very, you know, big deal or a very big job. So I um, prefer, you know, constructing a speak on cable on my own than buying it in, you know, in music house, you know, because it's one is very expensive. Two, you, you know, two, you don't um, actually, you know, a, you don't really know if you can be able to afford because um, if you're um, buying a um, lot of speak on cables, you know, for example, you, you're buying um, 20, um, 20 meters of speak on cable or you're buying a 30 meters of, of speak on cable, the more, um, len le the more longer it is, the more um, expensive it's, it goes as, um, as well. So um, I prefer um, you guys to, you know, got a, a speaker cable in internet or wherever music house anywhere they can you can it can be a little bit you know this thing for you i prefer you buying it and you know constructing it by yourself than buying it to supermarket so today i'm going to be teaching you guys it's not really very difficult it's not really difficult it's just simple as abc how to construct this particular cable i'm holding here so before we start for today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you guys the equipment you guys going to be, you know, you guys going to be using to construct this very um, particular speak on cable. You know, before, um, I sorry, I didn't, um, you know, explain uh, um, actually what this speak on cable means. We use this speak on cable to connect, you know, after connect, constructing the speak on cable, it goes, one side goes at the, at the input of your of your amplifier or power amp and the other other ones goes inside the back of your speaker speakers so that is what we use this um, particular speak on cable for before we wasn't using this particular speak on cable we are using what we call they call binding post so binding post you have to cut out the one side of the cable cut out the one side of the cable at the back of the speakers there's something like a clip when you clip it down you you stitch the, the, the cable inside it so that is what we are using before so so suddenly um this speak on cable you know came out so and this particular speak on cable is very 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 nice because it reduces you from you know from being distracted while playing your music and it's also um you know it's also easiest and faster way of installation you have to just clip it here you install it clip it here you uninstall it so that is how it work so before we start um for today i'm gonna be you know i'm gonna be demonstrating some certain um distance how to construct this particular speak on cable so like i said you're gonna be needing some few instruments for tightening losing and cutting so here we have um we have the um two speak on cables sorry this one has already been loose i have already loosed out these ones so but i'm gonna be teaching you guys too how to lose it out and how to tighten it out so we're gonna be needing these two speak on cable or nutric adapter you can also call it like that one goes to the to the one side of the speaker to of the cable while the other one goes to the end seam of the other part of the cable so because you're going to be requiring for two one like i said one goes to the amplifier and the other one goes at the back of the speaker so we got a screwdriver here which you're going to be using to demonstrate this particular work for today and we got a very big screwdriver as well but we're going to be using we're not going to be using this one we're gonna be using this very particular one because the the nuts we're gonna be tightening or losing, you know, you know, this is the size of the screwdriver which you're gonna be using to tighten or lose the this thing, the nut where the cable gonna pass. So and this one here is something like plier, call it a plier. So it also had 
a place of you know which you can be able to um, stick the um, cable the small the inside cable of it to peel it out so unfortunately this particular cable has already been peeled out so we're not going to be peeling it out you know but it's it's used to peel you just have to see inside the, this thing you hold it together and you draw it it has it will be peeled automatically so so we have knife knife is we'll be using knife to cut out the outer layer of the you know for of the key speaker cable but this one has already been cut so <laughs> so to make our work more easier so so that is it so that's the few things you have to need so it's not really don't just go far this to be looking to be searching for this particular this thing this particular way you can also use knife to construct it to cut it out use your hand to draw it out to peel it out then it's finished so these are the instruments which you're going to be using to perform this very work for today so before we proceed it depends or it lies on you how long the speaker cable which you're going to be needing so for me i prefer 10 meter and um, 10 to 20 meters because i don't and when i'm setting my instrument i don't always um bring my instrument far um, distance but it depends the location which you are and it depends the how many um you know number of people that will be attending your ceremony or your show that's going to determine if you're going to be needing a lot of speakers and if you're going to be shifting a far distance for people to you know to hear it properly so when you're having maybe when you're um when the occasion which you uh, you're going to be playing maybe the people that was being invited maybe just they are 100 in number or 200 number i don't think you need a longer you know longer cable to shift your speaker to position of your speaker far distance for me from 100 to 200 people you know i always use 20 to 50 meters um, length of speaker cable to construct my my instruments or to position my instrument so that is it so today we're going to be using 10 meters so it's unfortunate that i couldn't be able to you know to show it properly so that you guys can see it but this is the main important place you know which we're going to be using to perform the work for today so like i said this picon cable you can get it in, in in any of the music house or you can also search it in internet ebay aliexpress amazon or tor um torman so this particular loudspeaker cable you know it has it's there is different type of loudspeaker cable there are some ones that used to be three in one as you can see this one is three in one there are some one that used to be two in one it depends it depends on you which one you prefer to buy so but this particular one we're going to be using to perform this particular work for today it has three in one so as you can see i've already cut out the yellow one this one is the blue one this one is the brown one so today be, why before you start making this connection you have to be extremely careful so that you will not blow your your power speakers and or you will not blow your amplifier as well so when connecting when connecting one part of this particular cable you have to make sure it goes parallel according to the end stream of the other side of the connection so what do i mean when connecting this particular speaker cable there is a place that is being identified that is being marked plus one sorry plus one and minus one i don't really know whether if you guys can see it properly so so sorry so sorry but it's it's not really hidden it's not hidden it's being written um you know properly in a way that someone can see it so it has four, you know, it has four connections here one, here two, here three, and here four. So two of these is plus one minus one, and two of these is plus two minus two. So it depends on you which particular one you want to use or you're gonna be using to do the connection. So for today's lesson, we're gonna be choosing plus one and minus one. And you guys already know that that um, plus one plus is the you know plus is the um, the positive sign, and sorry red is the positive sign and um, and black is the um, the minus um, 
um, sign. So today we're going to be using plus one, minus one. So, and in this cable, you're going to be identifying, you're going to be selecting which particular cable you want to stitch in plus one and which one you want to, you know, to tighten in, in minus one. So for me, for today, I'm going to be using this blue cable as plus one and this brown cable as minus one. So let's do the connection. You take this, this small screwdriver, untight the plus one. Sorry. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, this one. Untight this, the plus one till it's been properly loosed. Untight it. Then use the here you have to you have, you have to no you have to squeeze this particular cable a little bit in a way that it's gonna be able to penetrate. So you have to you know you have to put it inside the plus one the plus one you lost already plus one you put it inside it then hold it so that it's gonna you're not gonna be you're not gonna pull so tighten it gradually. Tighten it gradually, gradually, till it's been tight properly. So, yeah, so it's it's tightened. Then the other one goes, which is the minus, go to the minus one. So don't forget the blue one goes to plus one, and the brown one will be going to the minus one. So, like like I said, untight the screw. Then stay the wire inside the, the position of minus one. Sorry. So you stay the wire inside it. Inside it. And then tighten it gradually. So after tightening it, don't forget. Sorry, I forgot to demonstrate this particular one when I was starting the video. So this particular one has to go first inside. For example, this you have to unloose it like this. After unloosing it, put it inside and make sure that this particular place for tightening has to be upwards, not downwards. When you put it downwards, then there will not be any alternative of tightening this particular one here so this one has to position like this and this one has to tighten in it when you're done with the connection so this one has to go first in this side the wire then this one has to come second so we've already finished the connection now you're going to be bringing this one so when you bring this one look properly so that you, know, you will not make a mistake so here like this you have to be putting it not like this understand so inside it there is a particular you know direction which every um you know every position gonna lap so if you check it properly inside i don't know if you guys can see it it's very very difficult so i think you guys can see something like a something uh looking as if it's been drilled so you're gonna be positioning let it position properly in a way that it's gonna be freely to come out so after positioning it, bring it down, 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 down. Hold this particular place. Hold this particular place. Draw it. Then you're gonna be bringing the final, the final, um, the final um, plastic rubber. This is used for binding the, you know, binding the or squeezing the cable. So you have to put it. Sorry, you have to put it inside here. It's it's um here it's being cut so here it's being cut so it can be able to you know it can be able to you know put the work cable inside it so use the cable you know open it gradually so that it will not break but i don't think it's gonna break so you see then put it inside it it's enter properly so sorry we have to stay pull this one back because it's you know it's fell out so like I said, try to position the, you know, try to position the, 
the speak on adapter so that it can enter um, properly so we've already put in it so now you have to hold this particular place so that it's gonna you're not gonna be like this so hold it like this then then put this one inside it put this one inside it here it has a something like a direction which the um the plastic rubber are gonna lap so here like this there is something like arrow if you guys can see it properly so you have to stitch it inside this particular place inside this arrow so after stitching it sorry after stitching it it has stitched properly then you tighten the cable come in it's a little bit this thing it's a little bit so after stitching it tighten the cable gradually see the end stream of it so this is it so after tightening it's gonna look something somehow like something like this it's gonna look something like this so so when you tighten it and it got to this very particular point you can use um screwdriver or you can still use your hand to tighten it, or you can still plug it in the in the speaker and tighten it properly so that is it so the same thing you're gonna do here is the same thing you're gonna do in the other um in the other end of the cable so don't forget minus one sorry plus one goes to the blue why the minus one goes to the brown small cable so that is how to build um speak on cable you know i think i will uh i will prefer you know building speak on cable you know than buying it in supermarket because it's cost expensive and it's very very easy to you know to construct so that is how to do for speaker that's how to you know construct a very speak on cable which you're going to be using to play your show you can do this like maybe if you have in a day you can produce it like 20 pieces it's no problem depending the where you want so this is the speak on cable which you produce or which we construct today so that is the end of today's lesson please don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to also subscribe to this very big youtube channel like and share because i'm going to be posting 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 similar of videos you know pertaining to music and all the rest of them and don't forget to click in the notification button so that you're going to be the first button to receive the any video that i posted thank you so much you know and i wish you guys good luck while constructing the cable don't make a mistake watch properly know the particular one that belongs to the positive and negative signs yeah thank you very much and god bless you all bye